Are you confused by terms like RDF, ontologies and linked data and want to know what it has to do with bioimaging? In the following tutorial I try to explain why it is important to know these terms and why you might be important for you. Microscopy systems produce file formats that contains a lot of image information with multi-dimensions. To be able to interpret the image data, we need metadata that give us the necessary information. Therefore, it is mandatory to store files and formats that preserve both the pixel values and the metadata so that they are available for later analysis and interpretation. There are different categories of metadata, but we want to focus here on the technical metadata, which are normally stored automatically in the vendor-specific file formats, such as LIV for LICA or CCI for size. However, this also means that our software cannot read this metadata or, even worse, reads it incorrectly or interprets it differently from software to software. To solve this problem, the Open Microscopy Environment, OMI, has worked intensively to develop several file format readers. These are combined in the Bioformat software library and are now used by many software tools to extract image and metadata from vendor-specific data and containers. But what does bioformats do with the vendor-specific metadata, which is often named differently? It extracts the technical metadata and maps the metadata on the structure and the wording of the OME data model. This metadata model was developed by the OME consortium to harmonize the description of microscopy data from different vendors. In addition to this data model, the 4D and BINA OME model was recently emerged as a further development of the OME data model. So, Bioformats reads out the metadata in the standardized form. But what if I realized that some metadata is missing or wrong? Maybe there were values that should have been entered manually during the acquisition for example, the lens magnification, without which metadata is now stored incorrectly, for example, an incorrectly a calculated pixel size. It is therefore necessary to look closely at an early stage and correct or supplement the metadata if necessary. Various tools are available for this purpose, which can be used depending on the application objective. I would like to introduce three different tools here. With the tool Micrometer app, we can build a microscope graphically and describe the metadata of the individual components according to the 4DN binary OME data model. And you combine this with the metadata extracted by bioformats from the image data container. All information is stored in a JSON file. For those who collect metadata using spreadsheets in Excel, Swade as an Excel plugin facilitates an uncomplicated research for ontology terms and their usage. With the MDMIC, you can control the metadata extracted via bioformats and add your own metadata or core facility specific predefined metadata. In addition, you can define your own metadata objects, for example, metadata related to sample preparation and link ontologies to describe them. MDMIC allows to save the metadata in different formats. For example, as OME XML, which is the serialization format of the OME data model. That means, OME XML is the concrete translation of the data model into a storable format. This format is also used to encode metadata within the more universal image container format OME TIFF. However, due 
to the way the image data is encoded in Omitif, this image data format cannot be handled optimally in cloud systems. To access on data in the cloud, it is essential that the data can be broken down independently into smaller chunks so that data transport over the network can be optimized. Using bioformats, metadata and image data can be converted into both classical or such cloud-able formats. Our long-term goal is to store bio-image data in such a way that it can be cross-linked. So far, we have linked the data objects to each other, but we also want to link the content itself. Instead of a network of objects, we are aiming for a network of content. We can achieve this through semantic web technologies. The key concept here are linked data. Linked data are interrelated data that can be easily interpreted by machines. To create such self-describing data, RDF is essential. RDF stands for Resource Description Framework. Both the resource and the relationship are described in triples and identified by a URL. That means this URL points to a more detailed specification of the resource or the relationship. In doing so, for the formal semantic, ontologies are used. If you are using tools for collecting the metadata which use ontologies for the semantic, then we have already taken the first hurdle to make our content linkable. Both RDF and ontologies form so-called knowledge graphs, that means interlinked description of entities. Through such a graph, we can follow the embedded links from one data item to other data items. Sounds good. But how can I extract now a specific information from this pool of many information? You can use Sparkle to query this information. The result of a Sparkle query can be visualized as a graph of linked data which shows us the relationship of one object to another object. In order to store this representation of the data from the meta level of the network into a concrete format, there are various serialization formats. One of them is JSON-LD. JSON-LD is based on JSON extended by context and URL. In summary, we can say in order to make bioimage data available as linked data, we need the following things. URLs must be available for image and metadata. The metadata must be represented in RDF. And metadata and image data must be stored in appropriate formats. There are different models for bundling data and metadata. One specific framework to handle complex studies or studies including a combination of technologies is the ISA framework. It provides a data model and tools for collecting and linking multiple categories of metadata and data. A more general concept for bundling all important information about an entity in one place and creating a technology-independent object in the cyberspace is the Fair Digital Object FDO framework. Are you interested in more details about a specific topic or technology? Then please have a look at the references on the poster. You can download the poster using this link from Zenodo. Thank you for your attention and stay fair.